said, Lord, I'm getting my, I'm getting my stuff mixed up here. I, I, want to, I want to welcome you all. My name is Deacon Theodore Gray. I want to welcome all of y'all here to the third choir anniversary of the Greater Mutual Respect Church of Running Water. Uh, the, the, this choir has been singing in, the, oh, wait a minute, uh, oh Lord. Ex excuse me, uh, uh, Deacon Gray, you're in, you're, in, you're in the wrong place tonight. No, I ain't. This is the right place. Wait, 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 wait. This, I got it right. I got it right now. Uh, uh, dearly beloved, we gathered together to, to join. I, I, the, the devil is a lie. You ain't gonna mute me. Uh, uh, as we as we uh, join together, this man and this woman in 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 in, in, in unholy matrimony, because you know they've been shacking for three years, and so I'm still gonna marry them. But, uh, oh Lord, have mercy, uh, uh, Junior, you got my stuff mixed up. Yeah, hold on one second. Hold on. Uh, you stop muting me. I got my stuff. I got my stuff together. It's here somewhere. Where my paper there? Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Anyway, you can, this is the last time you're gonna mute me. I, I, I'm going. I, I'm. I'm going to turn you into the authorities. Well, good evening. Happy birthday, Bishop George Bloomer. We are so excited to be here on tonight and to be able to celebrate you on your special day. At this time, we have some special guests that would also like to wish you a happy birthday. And we're going to start with Shepherd Mother, Margaret Denison. Happy birthday, Bishop. All right, lady. Joy in the morning. <laughs> okay, I see, I see that we're in Joy's house. We are. <laughs> Joy's house. Shepherd Mother, where's your house at? We're going to talk about that later. <laughs> Because in the name of Jesus, it's coming. Yes, sir, it's coming. It's on its way. Happy wow. birthday Thank to you. Thank you so much. This is good. Yes. You see, I got I see I got a portion of my red on in solidarity of our church down there in, in Gainesville. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. All right. So on to the seat tonight, Bishop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, this is one of the first, uh, wow, this is my first birthday celebration, I, I would have to say in 40 years. Wow. So this is this is very emotional for me and it's a, um, a, a blessing and an honor, so I'm really, really excited. Amen. Yeah. You deserve it, Bishop. Great Bishop you are. Yes, sir. You know we love you. We love you. Yeah. Thank you, compassionate. <laughs> and we miss you too. We can't wait to see you. Yeah, well, we're coming around, you know, uh, Omicron and Atomanon and uh, Nutrifon won't let us get to where we got to go. <laughs> Every time we think we got one of them licked, another one shows up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We come in there, compassionate. We come in there. We're going to have a great time together. Great oh, fellowship yeah. in Jesus. Yeah. Name. Wonderful job you're doing, Shepherd Mother. Wonderful job. Thank you. Great. Thank you. With your help, Bishop. Thank you. I appreciate everything you've done. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for those well wishes, Shepherd Mother. Mr. Larry Reed. Oh! Okay. Bring your camera back. Do you see who it is? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see who it is. And I, 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 I can yeah, see who it is. And I see all that voodoo behind you, all that voodoo and, and hocus poses and father in the name of Jesus. No, that's our heritage. Ain't nothing voodoo about none of those names. Exactly. Now I know it's your birthday, but I got these pictures that somebody sent, uh, sent oh, to you. Larry. Larry, listen, let me share something with you. You're not doing no Larry's show tonight. Has, has, the, pictures been, has the pictures been and, 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 and released? Look, I'm Good just to see you. 
Listen, when I was told that you were about to be celebrated, first of all, I wish this was in person, but I, when I was told that you were going to be celebrated, um, I, I could have sent in a video, I could have done it a different way, but I said, no, I need to be there in person where I can be seen so that you can see my face when I say that I absolutely positively think that you are one of the best people in the world. And I have the opportunity of being able to meet a whole lot of different people. I'm pretty well traveled and um, you're a great guy. You're an Aquarius like me, you know, <laughs> but you are a... <laughs> <laughs> you are you are a great guy and I think you're under celebrated and so I wanted to be here to properly celebrate you and make sure that you feel from Larry Live and the MBN, Net, the MBN Network that you are extremely important and that you are celebrated thank you so much now how old are you Bishop I know your camera not froze <laughs> Today I'll be today I'll be fifty nine. That that ain't the truth. Loud. Come, Bishop is sixty three, <laughs> and y'all want to fool the devil. <laughs> uh, you say whatever you want to. Somebody gonna tell me I need Ron, Ronnie. Can you let? Can you text me his birthday? <laughs> so the, I, I'm trying to figure out what the cash app is. So I need a, I need the number. 50, 50, stay within the fifty nines and prophetically moving. Oh that my end. God! <laughs> For real? Yes. Where is Mike Williams? I know he know. Somebody <laughs> need to text me and let me know what is his real birthday so that I can properly celebrate his birthday through this here cash app. So you actually believe that I'm older than fifty nine? I was fifty eight a uh, day before yesterday and fifty nine. I thought, I thought you and Bishop was near the same age. Don't listen to Bishop when it comes to <laughs> pathetic birthdays. I mean, y'all was there and, and Bob and Washington. Larry, move right? on. Move, move, move on. I see Mike. I see Mike Williams on the screen. He's laughing. Y'all, move on. Move, <laughs> move on. Well, look, well, Bishop. I hope that you you feel celebrated. It's clear to me that you have a lot of people around you that love you and depend on you. And I want you to know that I absolutely love you too. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Love you too. Thank you so much. Great shirt. What what is that shirt? Oh, this is pajamas. This is uh, what is Dolce and Gabbana pajamas. I knew I knew it had something to do with Dolce. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom too. Dolce because the spots. I I, I that's why I actually what what it was. Yeah, it's the it's the new new line. Mm -hmm. You should come on down here. I'll get you one. In Jesus' name. <laughs> All right. See you later. Thank you so much. That was great. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. That is All right, King. You did it. That's good. <laughs> Larry Reed. All yeah. right. <laughs> yes, yes. He didn't tell us what he said he somebody sent him a picture. He didn't I didn't I, I don't know what that picture was. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay, Thank you, okay. Mr. Reed, for those birthday wishes to our bishop. We have Bishop Mitchell Taylor. This is my friend. Wow, Mitch. Mitch, I think you're, you're muted. Bishop. Woo, we go so yeah. Are back, Mitch. Thank you, and, and I see I'm there on yeah. the uh, in, in yeah yeah in my studio. As you can see, I'm trying to get your cash app up here so I could bless Did you. You see how they tried to up my uh, Larry? Come on, trying to up my age. Yeah, no, no, no. Me and you are the same age. Actually, I'm older than you by I think it's uh, 27 days. Okay. No, no, no 20 days because uh -huh. I'm January 7th, and you're what? January 28th. I'm 23rd. 23rd. Okay. I'm still older than you, brother. Okay. Yeah. Respect you your respect authority. Ooh, I do. <laughs> you are one of my longest friends, longest ministerial friends, uh, along with you and Bishop Page. And uh, actually, we've known each other longer than uh Bishop Page. And um, I mean, we we almost go back to you know, we go back, we go back and we go back um, to the Flintstones. The we, go back. we go back, we go back. 
Yes. Yeah. And, you know, I I heard um, Larry Reed talking about you're under celebrated. You're not under celebrated. No, we celebrate. We celebrate you. And we have. And I understand what he's saying when he says you're under celebrated. I'm not I'm not discounting what he said. But I do want to say to you that we celebrate you every day. We celebrate you because of the equity that you lend to this space. We celebrate you because of the efficacy of your ministry. We celebrate you because of the excellence that you put into the efforts of presentation. We celebrate you because you are exemplary. And I want you to know that I love you. I mean, I love you deeply. You have um, been a driving force in my 35 year tenure uh, pastoring here in New York. And my travel ministry has been enhanced tremendously over those 35 years because of you and picking up the phone and calling people and, and, and making uh, things happen. And all you young preachers that think that, oh, I don't call nobody for no dates. I don't want nothing. Let me tell you something. When we were younger, when we <laughs> call on the phones, I'm going to be in Miami. Can I come to your yeah. church in Fort Lauderdale? Yes, we I'm had a system. Be- yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had a system. We had a system. And listen. It wasn't, listen, it really was, it was really something back then. It was, it was, you know, the road back then was different. It was, it was exciting. It was, and for me, you know, I never even looked at it like, we never looked at it like the offerings and stuff like that. When we got the offerings, you know, we, it it is what it is. But, you know, I remember running Revival and at the end of the revival, I said, man, I know I didn't do this good, do that good this week, you know, in the revival. And at the end of the revival, uh, uh, the pastor comes to me and says, man, you were fabulous and writes you a check for something you never deserved. Yes. And that's what the favor of God is on our lives. Anytime you have favor, of course, it is derived from the word grace. And anytime you have grace, the favor of God. That's the good thing that God gives to us that we never deserved. And people can't understand the favor of God on our lives. They don't think it's fair. They don't think it's justified. But when I look at God's mercy and his undying love for us and how he exemplified that mercy and that undying love through the children of Israel, whom he selected and said, I will be your God and you'll be my people. But faithfully, they continued to break that covenant and break that relationship. But God continually continued to forgive them and give them chance after chance after chance. And look what God is doing for us today, giving us chance after chance after chance when we mess up, he knows our downsitting. He knows our uprising. In Psalm 139, he said, if we take the wings to heaven, he's there. If we take a dive into the sea, he's there. God is with us, Bishop Bloomer. And I want to say, God is with you. No one could do these things Mm. that you have done unless God was with him. I have a seed. I'm not as rich and powerful as you, Bishop, but I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you $10 for every year that you've been born. So I'm going to sow a seed of $590 and I'll be sending that seed. uh, uh, As soon as I possibly get off this live, I'll be sending that seed to you to express my love and my a uh, 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 total commitment to your success in life and living. Thank you so much, Mitch. I'm holding my heart. This is going to be this is going to be a a. I'm smiling. It's my first celebration. I went through some things when I was a kid coming up, and I just ran from this kind of uh, rejection and so on. But tonight, and seeing you guys is a great, great blessing. Again, thank you so much. Mitchell Taylor was the first one to introduce me to. Uh, alligator shoes, alligators uh, and crocodile shoes. I was preaching for him in the service and he had a pair on. I looked down and I said, where'd you get them patent leathers from? <laughs> <laughs> we all have stories. We we all have stories, but all through uh, uh, through the years. 
And in those days, you were you were the uh, you was uh, like the producer for Malachi Records, or what? What, what you was? Yeah, not Malachi, not Malachi. That's a book in the Bible. Uh, yeah, Mal right. Malachi. Mal <laughs> I was the national director of promotions for the Malico Savoy Music Group. Yes. And uh, I was proud to be able to serve with the Honorable Reverend Milton Bigham yes. and uh, Frank Williams down in Jackson, Mississippi, and Jerry Mannery and all of the artists on the Savoy Malico label for many, many years traveled up and down the country uh, with the Pace Sisters, Timothy Wright, Georgia Mass Choir, uh carnell morell people don't know that name uh mm -hmm. so many people dorothy norwood uh my god i could just the list goes yeah, on michelle michelle white uh what's our lady there all, all of them wow yes yeah, wow. so, i mean yeah I so it it uh you know i um i treasure those years i never knew why the lord had me work at savoy records uh, uh, and to be the national director of promotions. I didn't start as the national director of promotions. I was the regional director and working only in the New York office. But the anointing of God was on me like it was on Joseph that was thrown in the pit. No matter where I went, favor followed me. And so I was promoted to the national director of promotions for the Malico Savoy Music Group. Had to go once a week to Jackson, Mississippi and manage a team of 16 people. And um, we had a string of hits down through the years. And many of you know that back then, airplay drove record sales. So I had to make sure that not good records would be played because they play good records. It's the medium and struggling records that I had to make sure were played. And I successfully did that and built relationships around the country. And little did I know that that was serving as the catalyst for what I'm doing today. Today, I have a global international public relations firm uh, that works domestically and internationally. And it's called Inside Track Public Relations Firm, a lobbying and PR firm. And people ask me, where did you cut your th teeth? Where did you get your experience? Well, number one, being a pastor, you are naturally a promotions expert. But then yes. pragmatically, I went into uh, serving at the music uh, in the music industry. And so that those gifts and talents transferred into what I'm doing today. So to God be the glory. And a lot of this is because of your encouragement and uh, you being able to reinforce the things that I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got great things to do. Yes, sir. Well, listen, bless you guys. And I'll see you guys real soon. Well, I'll see you Friday night. Yes. And, yes. Oh, let me say this. To, uh, my condolences to you uh, in the loss of your brother, yeah, the loss of your uncle, yes. if I'm not mistaken. That's and our correct. prayers and our condolences go out to you and to your family. Yeah, two in two days, I tell you. Well, God is good. We're going to make it. Thanks, Mitch. Talk to you soon. Bless you. Thank you, Bishop Taylor, for those well wishes. Master Prophet Ebenard Jordan. God bless you, my friend. Dear Lord, how you doing tonight? Well, I am doing well now that I'm speaking to my friend of 60 plus years. <laughs> <laughs> I am not fooling with you, Larry Reed, tonight. <laughs> I refuse to look like I am the elder brother. We have seniors among us. <laughs> One of these days we're gonna tell one of the days we're gonna tell a story, but it will not be on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> but I am so honored. Um, I, I hate that I got to rush, but I'm talking to you right now from my apartment in the Upper East Side, which I just moved into and just put this video wall in. And so my apartment in the Upper East Side. Yes, and, just and put I'm, the video wall in. Lord yeah, so, bless us in the name of Jesus. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Woo. And um, so what I'm going to do, I was so inspired by um, Mitch Taylor. Um, I'm going to give, even though mine will probably be a little bit more, I'm, I'm going to do $11 for each year. <laughs> 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 I 
from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, there go my man. There go my man. Did you did you enjoy that crab soup? Bishop. Oh wait, you gotta get, get Mike up here. Wait, Bishop. Oh my <laughs> God, you, you I wasn't supposed. Right I thought it was just for the. The, the 60 plus group. Oh, but. <laughs> All right, listen. Listen. But, but Bishop, don't Bishop, you make Bishop. my Brooklyn come out online. Oh, don't do it, please. <laughs> Bishop, let me say happy birthday to you, one. But number two, I have never in my entire life had. Uh. That was the best soup. I literally wanted it to take it on the plane with me. So whenever you're ready to celebrate and bring Bishop down again, please, please, please send me. I want to go, Bishop. I got to go for the soup. <laughs> you got to go for the soup. <laughs> soup. I had both. I literally, I felt so bad. And, you know, Bishop teaches us to, you know, you know, you, 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 you're supposed to say no, thank you. But I couldn't help it. I was down in your kitchen while y'all were in there talking to the kings. I was in there just making bowls, and it was very good. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you again. You're welcome. Your gift yeah, it's good of to the see crab you. soup. It's good to see you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how do we how do we do the cash app? I mean, uh, there you go. There you go. Oh my goodness. So 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 let me do because I have a tendency to um, I have a tendency to forget. So. Um, let me see if I do 11 for each year, or let me see, <laughs> or 12 for each year. Let, 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 me, let me see how much I come to. Um, <laughs> let me see, I have, to, I have to multiply. Now, how many years is it again? <laughs> it's, it's in, yeah, uh, 65. <laughs> <laughs> 71, 82. <laughs> All those things that be not as though they were. Oh, was there a dollar sign behind it? <laughs> you know, if somebody asked me um, today, mm -hmm. I would be Methuselah's age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you, know, you know, how old was Methuselah? Not, was it nine? 900 and something years old, right? You know, you probably should take that on, you know, because, you know, Prophet Larry Reed was trying to figure out something so he could have did it. I said, I'm Methuselah age today. The age of the nine. Yeah, yeah. so a man and who, I oh, think. Methuselah? 969. 969 days? 969. But you know, but, but, but you know what? We should do $969 and say long live Bishop Bloomer. Ah. Long live the general, general of spiritual warfare. The gen the grandpappy. The grandpappy. In Africa, they call them daddy. 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 Yes. Daddy. Daddy. They don't call him Zaddy. Not Zaddy. No. Zaddy. No. Is not, no. 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 That, that's your generation. That's that. You got a Zaddy. Don't let them do that, Bishop Bloomer. No. 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 Zaddy. I know what Zaddy means. <laughs> Take that Z off of that Zaddy stuff. All right. <laughs> so, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do Methuselah's age for you, um, Bishop. Thank and, you so um, much. So um, that was dollar sign. Um, read it off to me again. General. General of, war of warfare. Okay, make sure I get you make sure I get this to the right general. Mm -hmm. General of warfare. General of warfare. No, this is not the general of welfare. <laughs> yeah, left there and came here. Hi, Yala Ba Ba Ba. Have we all been there? Thank you so much, Master Prophet. Master and Prophet, thank you so much. And we got to talk this week because we got to talk this week. Oh, we got to oh, talk. Yeah. This oh, week. I yeah. I got to tell you some things. So you know what? I'm the prophet that moved many people in the church through the pandemic. The prophet moved you through the pandemic, but the master prophet is going to move you through the endemic. We got to talk more about that.
wait a minute. <laughs> Your service is going to be late tonight. No, wait, what's the endemic? This is the part. This is the part in the season where you're going to lose more people in the endemic than you did in the pandemic. The pandemic, see, when you hear endemic, don't mean it's over. It's going, it's, it, it, they've, they've accepted that it is what it is. They'll probably treat it like it's a flu, but they're going to run this now completely through the herd. And those that have weak immune systems, they're going to be dropping like this. Lord have mercy. So you got to get ready for the drop. Because the moment you put your clergy shirt up, you're going to be putting it back on again. And we're going to be moving the church through one of the greatest grief cycles that we have experienced in our generation. Jesus. And many of our people now, we're going to lose some major leaders in this next cycle. You thought we lost leaders in the pandemic. Wait until you see the leaders that we're going to lose in the endemic. I'll talk with you about it. I'll talk to you off the record. I don't Thank want to be an alarmist. Today's your birthday. We're going to celebrate that you're here and you got to see another year because many of our friends did not make it. Wow. So thank God. So I am, I am declaring, I'm going to do 969 for those that will join me. May, he, may Bishop Bloomer live long like Methuselah and have a walk like Enoch where he walks with God until he is not. Love you. Love you too much. Thank you so much. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Wow. Thank you, Master Prophet, for those well wishes. Dr. Wow. Kevin Williams. Lord have mercy. The, the S. The, can you hear me? Can hear you now. Yes. The, the, the eschatologist himself. <laughs> and the you... apostle of the consecration nation. <laughs> It's time to fast. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Birthday, man. Thank you so much. Man, this is such a blessing. I tell you, God has just favored you in so many different ways. And, you know, my desire is that you live at least 2,000 years. And after that, then you and God have a talk, yeah. you know? <laughs> because I want you to prosper in every way. And everybody that's watching me as you know, this is my friend and my brother. And so I, um, I want everybody not only just to celebrate him, but also be a blessing into his life as I'm getting ready to be as well. I'm going to send you something to your cash app. But I just want you to know, man, how much I love you and uh, how much you really mean to me. And uh, we have for the last two years, we have rocked solidly together. And, you know, and I expect for us to keep rocking and just keep rocking and keep rocking, you know. And so you look good you know, and uh, for you to be a man that is uh, 46 years old. Uh, hey. is... <laughs> 40, a... 40, 46 years old in, 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 in age, but when time comes to honor it, Methuselah's age is what I receive. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What is, what is that lamp behind you? Because everything that you have has a purpose and a significant to it. You know, we don't put nothing in our house that don't mean something. But what is that lamp right there? That lamp, this lamp, let me move out of the way. This lamp actually is a lion and a king. And uh, it represents the lion of the tribe of Judah uh, that Revelation talks about. It is holding uh, two lights, you know, and that is one for two dimensions, one for the earth realm, one for the heavenly or the spiritual realm. And so um, you are so funny, you wanna know everything, but that, that's, that, that's, that's my lamp. And um, he, um, he's in a robe, as you can see. See, it spoke to me because spiritual people see things spiritually, carnal yeah. people see things carnally. So that's, that, so while you was talking, I can hear the king behind saying, you know, yeah, wow, that's great. <laughs> Yes, sir. And so, you know, I am just so, man, I'm so happy for you. I'm, I'm proud of everything that you have achieved and have achieved and everything that you've accomplished. And what I do expect, you know, is for you to do double and triple, you know, in this next stage of your life. You know, God has blessed you. And there are people that have given you a lot of different, you know, they put a lot of favor into your hands. 
And, you know, you've testified, t- testified about some of it, some people, some things that people don't know about, but God has really blessed you and favored you. And man, I just wanted to take this opportunity to, l- to let you know how much I love you, you know, how much you mean to the world and to the body of Christ, uh, that you are changing economies, you are changing environments, and you're changing nations. And people, um, even though people are not aware, um, it's like Job. Job said, my witness is in heaven and my record is on high. Mm-hmm. And so, man, I love you, man. I just, I, I'm watching Jesus right now kiss you right on your forehead, you know, mm-hmm. and um, it is just a blessing. I don't want to stay long. I want everybody to know that, you know, this is my brother, my friend. I bless the Lord for his life. I want him to have 2,000 more birthdays. And if you would join with me and just being a blessing to him, you know, and if you can't go, you know, to the nine hundred or uh, and sixty nine dollars, then you know what? Then join with a five hundred dollars or or something like that. And you know, if you can't do that, I tell you what you do. Then sow the age that you want to have a talk with God about you leaving the earth, and that should be wow. under one hundred and twenty. You know, and so I want everybody to know that God has blessed this man, you know, and I honor you and I respect you. You have a, that behind you is a beautiful home, you know, and God has just blessed you, sir. I love that chair that you're in. You deserve everything that God has given you and more. And uh, if I can, if I have anything to do with it, I'm going to make sure that you're triple blessed. I know that's right. I know it's right. I just want to say this before you go. Uh, this is 25, 26 years ago. We're in Greensboro having a conference. Something goes wrong and at the church that we're at. And your dad says to me, says, Bloomer, come over and have your services here. Finish the services here. We go over to your church to have a service. That's where I met you. No one is responsible for introducing us. Aha. <laughs> and and, and, uh, and there was a funny looking car that was there. So I went out and I said, oh, is that an antique? <laughs> you said, no, that's a Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you remember that, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we stood out in front of that car. It was a white one. It was white. And we stood out in front of that car and you talked for a few minutes and then you turned around and you said, listen, nations are going to know who you are, George Bloomer. Uh-huh. Nations are going to know you at television. I mean, blah, 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 blah. And remember, at that time, there was no books. There was no, it was just me trying to plow through. 20 something, 30 years later, look what the Lord has done. And I say to you, just like you said to me, that eschatology is your witchcraft in the pews. Watch. We already okay. seeing that, but watch it. Watch God continue to do it. Thank you so much. I love you, man. Love you too. Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Dr. Williams, for those well wishes. Prophet Brian Mosley. This uh, man of God, who I've known since he was standing up uh, as an usher. In Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. Go in my closet. I'm going to speak to you, but go in my closet, right in my closet in there, and get me my fur coat. Ain't nowhere in the world. <laughs> You're going to do New York on me and I not do, do New York back. <laughs> you better. You better. You know. Uh, right. Hey, I, how I, you I, doing? I, I Listen, you look like new money. Woo! Prophesy. And I feel like singing Prophesy the song, to I'm Prophesy in the mood to. for love simply because you made it. You made it. Woo. You made it. I'm congratulating you and we go back a long way. And I want to long, say this to everybody, that this man has paid my ministry a high compliment. And I want him to know how much I love him. I mean, uh, Bishop Bloomer, George Bloomer, all of that, you know, cause I'm not about the bull and all that. I tell you, we talk, <laughs> we know one another. He has picked up the phone and told preachers, even with my history, he's told them, you need Mosley. And I walked in their pulpit because of this man of God. And he's got his mink on and he's doing his thing. And you look like you're 31. What kind of tea you drink? Hey, 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 hey. Green hey, tea that's or right. what? That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm, I feel like 31. I look like I'm 31, but I'm 969 when it comes down to the giving. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, listen, happy birthday to you. 
Thank you so much, Prophet. You, thank you so much. We got to do something very, very soon. Real, real Let's short. Catch up. Okay. Let's catch up. Bless you All so right. much. Thank you. Woo. All right, let me take this coat off. It's hot. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Shirley season. Woo! Hello, hello, Bishop. How are you? Faded rose is all I have to give. But mama, I tried to give you flowers <laughs> while you live. <laughs> Listen, happy birthday to you, you know, so birthdays are just so special. And here you are now. Um, pushing 70. <laughs> Woo! It does not matter. I believe, Bishop Bloomer, that there are a whole lot of Betty Whites. My God. And, um, Woo! I decree that you are a Betty White. You My are God, a yes. male version Woo! of a Betty White. I amen, receive. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And me too. Me yeah. too. I'm a female <laughs> black. Betty White. Betty White. Amen. Yeah. But listen, God have been so good to you, Bishop Bloomer. I remember when you couldn't even read. And now look at you. Look at you. You know, you're throwing around all of those big words and those big adjectives, uh, descriptive words. I said, boy, listen to my baby. Listen to my son. Uh, Preachers, preacher, man, good God Almighty. This is why all of those preachers love you, not because of um, witchcraft in the pews, but they love you because you got such a powerful ministry. It's a wonderful ministry. Wow. And let me tell you something. I, I like that mirror back there in the background <laughs> over the couch. <laughs> Yes, yes, well, yes. You know, when you move into your when you move into your new place, I'm gonna I'm get you a mirror. Okay. Not 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 just any mirror now. It's got to, <laughs> it's got, it's got to look like that chair that you're sitting yeah. in. You know, see, 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 see. Uh, 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 I was trying to sway you away from that chandelier, so uh, <laughs> that's why I said I'll get you a mirror. Where's the chandelier? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes! Yeah! For Woo. my new house. Yeah, that's right. Bishop, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I love you, Bishop. I do, 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 do. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you, 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 oh, 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 I feel, feel, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, thank you so happy much. Birthday. Thank happy you. Birthday. Thank Carolyn is here, Bishop. Oh, How are you doing, Carolyn? Baby, happy birthday. I was one of the first to wish you happy birthday this morning. Birthday. Yes, 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 well, and Melvana, she's Mel gone somewhere, but she said, happy birthday. Check your mail. No, Zale. Check the mail. Okay, Zale. Check, check Zale. Zale. All right. Uh, Praise our God. Because, uh, this mama sent you something, too. <laughs> um, you know, I, I saw I saw that beautiful coat. I didn't send you a coat. <laughs> you cannot have it one at a time. Uh -huh. uh, so I can't say that you cannot spend but one dollar. At a time, but when they go to blessing uh, you uh, Methuselah's way, that's Woo. 969 years right now. I can't even afford that. But listen, God bless you, my brother. Every, and, every time, uh, every, every, every time you around, guess who shows up? Here you go. There you go, your uh, great grandson. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, how am my baby? <laughs> uh, uh, Bishop, you know, I saw you uh, when you were uh, talking about um, uh, Dr. Bynum. 
I said, now I know that you're not gonna put me down because I've, I've known you longer. I, I, and, and I did get a little jealous about that, but hey, <laughs> hey, I can't do what she she does and she can't do what I do. So sure like, you got two people, you got two beautiful women loving you. Yeah. All right. So yes. listen, God bless you. Happy birthday and to your wonderful family, your beautiful you. daughters and and uh, uh, your grandchildren. Happy birthday. And Bishop. People don't know how long people don't know how long we go back. They don't know how long the grandchildren, my kids in your house, all on your legs, <laughs> hold your legs, stuff like that, coming up, and they don't know nothing about that. We no, well, um, you started with me at the old church That's over right. on Garner Road when they were just babies, and now they uh, one of them will make two of me, but each <laughs> one of them got, got one leg, and I was trying to walk, dragging each one of those daughters. And now they have children. That mm -hmm. means that God has richly smiled on you. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to live as long as Betty White has lived. God's got a lot of Betty Whites out there. Amen. And uh, uh, even to say that she lived within a few days of 100, that's 100 years old right there. That's still 100 years old. Still that's 100. Right. And it is my prayer that you'll live at least another, what, 60 more years. And maybe Amen. by that time, the Lord, will, I know that if I could live that much longer, the Lord would have been back here and carried all of us back. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, Bishop. We Thank love you. So you. Much. Love you too. All right. So check this out. Okay. All right. Check your voicemail wow. <laughs> from, uh, from pastor and from our church. We yes. love you. We certainly look forward to hearing you this morning, but because of the inclemency of the weather, we were unable to do that. But, but, you will. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah, you will be preaching uh, at Calvary again. Yes. In fact, you are Calvary, and yes. we thank God for you. All right, Carolyn. Okay, celebrate. You know how we do, you celebrate the rest of the month. So that means we got we got to do some celebrations. Yeah, but see, there's, there's, there's but seven days. When yours come, come the 12th, and then it goes through that. Pastors come, pastor starts us two days before the month comes, and then celebrate. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That is it. Well, listen, I will not turn this age but one time. Amen. So I'm going to celebrate as long as I can. And I think that you should do the same thing, you know, because we never know when the Lord is coming back. So I want to encourage you. I command you to live, Bishop George Caesar Bloomer. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I command you to live, yes. be in good health. And whatever the Lord has in store for you, it's yours. Nobody's going to be jealous of all of your money because you see, you're going to take care of your mama. <laughs> you're going to take care of this mama. <laughs> I love you, uh, Bishop yeah, Bloomer. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. I know you know that, don't, don't uh, you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Pastor That's Shirley good. Caesar. Bishop Michael Penn. God bless you, Bishop. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> That's a, a surprise. surprise. How you doing, man of God? What a surprise. How you doing? Man, it's good to see you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, um, I, I was just thinking, told my wife tonight, I'm so honored to be on this call tonight. You, 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 can see it. Um, you are one of the most anointed, humble, and real service of God that I know. And Thank our you. ministry loves you dearly. You know that. Thank you. And we just still relishing in the word that you brought a few weeks ago. And it was wonderful. And God bless you, man. Many, many more. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. It is good to see you. I put it down that me and you are going into... Uh, uh, eternity together. You are a friend and will remain my friend. God bless you, sir. You know, I spent more time with you after <laughs> church than we spent in the service. I know. I know. Huh? I know. There's something on that chair. Uh, uh, uh. I, got, I, I got something I want to show you. Uh-oh, uh, come on. I got something I want to show you. Uh, to, see if you, to, see, to see if you know anything about this and stuff like that, because you know a whole lot of people, you know, they just go to church, but they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't know nothing about this. Look at that! 
I love being saved. I, I love God. being saved. You got it, Listen, man to God. <laughs> I love being saved. And that's a, a message that God gave me, man, because a lot of people in saved in the church, they don't enjoy being saved. Mm -mm. But I truly do love being saved. And I know you do, too. We enjoy it. We enjoy it. Thank you so we much. We enjoy it. God bless you, man. Thank you so much, God. Thank you. Yes, sir. God bless you. Many, many more. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop Penn. Thank you, Pastor very much. OJ. Pastor OJ. All right, we'll come back to him. Mr. Mike Williams. All right, Michael. Bishop. Michael. How are you doing, Mike? I am fantastic. Now, Not as good as you. The, they call me the general of spiritual warfare. And uh, do you believe that? I do. Do you believe that I, I have the authority to cast out demons? I do. And see evil spirits and stuff like that? I do. Yeah. And then you come on with that demon yeah. sit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you show up with that demon standing next to you. <laughs> I just I just knew your paths had probably crossed several <laughs> times over the years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I met him a few I met him a few weeks ago in, in, in a pulpit someplace. And, uh, <laughs> and, and 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 he was up there doing like that. And the whole congregation was saying, What in the world is he talking about? <laughs> well, happy birthday, Bishop George. Gary, John, Derek, Bloom. The whole name. It is remarkable that a man who put so much significance into the meanings of names has so many names. <laughs> you, no wonder. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you are one of the few true apostles in the body of Christ today. Wow. Thank you, Mike. And, and, an, and an apostle is not someone who merely has a far-reaching ministry, though you do. An apostle isn't one because they're on TV, though you are. Uh, an apostle is not synonymous and interchangeable with the word bishop, though you are one. But an apostle is one who lays the foundation for the church or who, I believe, sets the church in order when the church has lost its way. There is so much we believe that simply is not true. And there's so much that is true that we don't know anything about. Mm. And leave it to God to give us a man who for so long could not read and still has challenges to teach the church to read. Not how to read, but teach the church to read. You know, the disciples... Uh, came to Jesus and said, Lord, teach us to pray. They didn't say teach us how to pray. They said teach us to pray because they didn't even know to pray. And the church does not read. And you are teaching us to read and find out what's in there that we didn't know and what's not in there that we've always believed. I think you are a remarkable man. You are a tremendous preacher. You're a tremendous connector. Uh, I think you are unique in the body of Christ. I, th I There is not another George Bloomer on the planet. There's not another George Bloomer in the church. And uh, everyone coming along uh, that uh, wants to be the next George Bloomer, they can't because there's only one. <laughs> God broke the mold. And I really thank God for your ministry. I thank you for the opportunity to work with you, to travel all over the world with you, and uh, for your personal relationship over the last 10 years and, and your friendship. The so first it's been 10 years. 10 years. 10 years, wow. The first words you said to me when I met you in person was, the very first words before you said hello, you said, we're gonna be friends for life. Okay, I remember that. And for at least the last 10 years you have, uh, you have proven that. Thank so you. thank you again. God richly bless you and continue to have a blessed and happy 
and hilarious birthday. I was very nervous when you came on because I didn't know what you go say. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, and so the first thing you said to me, because you know, sometimes some people I walk up to, the first thing I say to them is that you do know you can't preach and you don't know what you're talking about, right? <laughs> I got lucky. Sit down someplace and learn something, you know. <laughs> I didn't know what I said. <laughs> Next thing, but you have me looking, you have me looking good on television and set a standard for me on television to the point that many of the networks that we were on, our program was shot in 4K when they were still in what what they was in? They were in standard definition. They were in standard they definition. They weren't even in HD and we were shooting in 4K. You shoot in 4K. So when our program came on, and then people used to call and say, why y'all? Uh, let Bishop Bloom is programming, but you don't do hours like that. And we say, what in the world? They don't know what they're talking about. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being a part. And we got a great, great work to do. Got books to write this year. Yes, sir. Things to do in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Apostle Adelia Seymour. All right. <laughs> All right. The birth Amen. God bless you, my bishop. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Woo. I am so happy for you, Bishop. I am so happy for you. And I am so thankful to God for the relationship that God has given me with you. And you are the dare to be different bishop. You are <laughs> daring to be different. You know, I tell people all the time, don't challenge him. Because you know he's there, he's you you don't challenge him because he will do what others are afraid to do. You will step out into the deep and not be afraid. Bishop, my husband and I thank God so much for you. We do, we thank God. He's coming in now. Come on, baby, come on. So that no, I'm not by myself. <laughs> I don't Elvis, know how, how to fix you doing screen. today. Bless you. I'm doing wonderful, Bishop. Doing wonderful, sir. Yes, sir. Bless you. Are you at home or you at the church? We're at home. At home. God bless you. Yes, thank sir. you so much. Yes, sir. Woo, yes, this, 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 I want to thank my staff. I want to thank my staff for uh, pulling this together because there's no way in the world I'd be sitting here on this particular day and I'm being healed of something of a trauma that happened to me when I was eight years old. And I'm just happy today to sit here and be celebrated. And thank you so much, Adelia and Elvis, for being a part of this. Thank yes, you, sir. Bishop, thank for you, believing Bishop. in us. Yes, we'll sir. again say thank you again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Dr. Seymour. Apostle Paula Green. Amen. Good evening, Bishop. Good evening, everybody. Uh, so great to celebrate you. Um, just because as others said, you have been such a blessing in my life. I know you to be a man that keeps your word. You told me. I'm guessing it was 97, I'm thinking it was like 97. We were behind the bleachers in the Philadelphia Convention Center. And you came up to me and you said, I just told somebody that we can either say we knew you or we blessed you. And I choose to bless you. And I didn't know what that meant, but here we are that, huh? all these years later. Wow. And I never forgot it. And you've kept your word. And um, I am uh, grateful to be a part of the circle that you're in. You have enlarged my circle. You have hit, you have made people who know me think I'm a big shot. Because when they cut that TV on in the middle of the night and George Bloom and Paula Green's talking, they say, ah! so they think I'm somebody, somebody because yeah. you have given me a platform. And I'm, I'm just so grateful and I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful for your, st your staff and your family, and we pray for you every day, Bishop. We just pray for your ministry, intercede for your ministry. And uh, I just want to again say thank you. I have another Zoom to go to, and I'm glad I got to speak, uh, but I'm just so thankful because of you um, in this latter part of my life, I am. I remember when you said you was going to retire at 50. And I said, I want to do the same thing, even though I was already past 50. <laughs> But today I am living in a, a life of retirement per se, and I'm loving it. it I'm living my best life uh, I, I'm because of things that you have put in me, things, doors you've opened for me, uh, things you saw in me I didn't see in myself. So I'm just so grateful. I pray 
um, um, I pray that you do um, get all the Methuselah birthday um, birthday gifts that you deserve. And I pray like uh, um, Carol, uh, Doc, Dr. Shirley Caesar said that we all make it to the age of Betty White. Yes. Uh, so I plan to, I plan to, uh, um, you'll have to be there. You'll have to see me cross over because I'm a whole lot older than you. But I, I do respect the fact that we both travel in that journey. So I just want to thank you uh, for being who you are, for being consistent, for being a man of your word, and for being a, a father in a, in a place where, you know, I'm older than you, but you don't let that stop you. And I appreciate that. And I just want to say thank you. God bless. I know you got to go, but, I, but just before you leave, um, it is my pulse and my heartbeat to uh, bless women in, in, um, in the gospel whether they're bishops, apostles, pastors, et cetera. And I come from a time in the day, you know, Dr. Ernestine Reams, she's gone home to be with the Lord. And I'm, 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 I'm bothered by some things with that because the celebration that I feel she should have, is, I, I don't see it yet and we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. You know, George Bloom don't know how to shut up, I, I'll start talking. But, but I want all of my daughters in ministry that are there that are watching and there's hundreds on our different platforms. But tonight is a really, really big night. Thank God for, for all of you. I want you just to take a quick moment, uh, 90 seconds, and uh, speak a prophetic forecast over them and for them. Because when this COVID thing lifts, and it's going to be around, but it's going to lift enough so that we can manage ourselves. You know, I have my own network now, and I have been literally moving and watching how we're going to do this. And the Lord has given me an idea. This morning, I was preparing a message and uh, the, the um, History Channel was on television and I never watch it. Animal cha History Channel was on it and there was an eagle on a tree stump and another bird came and slapped him and flew off and came back again and slapped him and flew off and came. And then he came behind the eagle and jumped on the eagle's neck and began to pick at the eagle's neck, another bird. And the eagle reached back and took mount and flew and kept on flying and flew to an altitude where the bird that was picking at his neck could no longer breathe. Mm. And the bird fell off. And I took that message and I began to write in the name of Jesus and I sent it to key daughters in the gospel today key daughters, some of them are online right now. I don't want to say names because then people get jealous. I sent who God gave it to be to send to. But here's the point. In this season, we don't have to fight. We just need to fly to the altitude that God has designated for us and all of that crap is going to fall off. This is that moment in that season. I want you to take, I, I honor your prophetic gifting and the anointing that is on your life. You, Rosia, uh, uh, Baxter, uh, these are these, these are individuals who have collided with George Bloomer, and I know that you are you you all are the prophetic voices for the in in the kingdom, and that's why God has given me a platform in order to expose those voices. Just take a minute or so and talk to the ladies who are on here, the pastors that are going through, and so so on and so forth like that. They age; they think that they're aging out, and they're not. I'm tired of that. Give them a word in Jesus' name. Uh, when you started talking, Bishop, what I heard was we are the equivalent to Zelepha Zalef daughters. When she they went to the went to the to Moses and said, "We want our father's inheritance," and even though we're not entitled to it, um, but we want it. And and they said, "Yes, you deserve it." And the father was saying that we are we are going to get our father's inheritance mm -hmm. while he is living. He is giving us the inheritance that belongs to us. Now, what we do with it becomes our business. If we don't take advantage of it, we will not receive the fruit of it. But if we take advantage of it, that means go where we got to go, do what we got to do. I'm, I'm 72, but I'm 50. I mean, and I'm going to act like I'm 50. I'm not going out like that. Uh, I'm rocking like everybody else and doing what I can do. And so I hear the father say to each one of us women to, to gird up now. Uh, and and take our rightful place, put our foot down and go back to Eden. Let's take dominion and do what we're called to do. This is our time. Our father's inheritance is being passed down to us. All we have to do is pick it up and run with it. See so you have the most high. 
It is so true. Uh, 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 Bishop Dennison went home to be with the Lord as we get ready to go into our fourth year. And there were people and elements behind the scenes that, you know, uh, 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 said, well, we just find somebody to put in this inside the church and preach there and so on and so on. But I saw in First Lady Shepherd Mother Dennison, Margaret Dennison, I saw a leader in her. She's a principal, she's an administrator. Uh, 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 well, she can't preach. Well, first of all, pastoring ain't got the first thing to do with preaching. Because if it did, <laughs> then there's a whole lot of other people I've tried to figure out how they doing all this because they ain't preaching and their churches are huge. Under that particular challenge, before her husband passed away, he asked me to stick with his wife, his daughter, and his church. And he said, can you take it? I said, no, I can't take it over. I can't come. I can't, can't take it over. I can find somebody to help you. But it was in my heart. And he's told me to do what I needed to do. It was in my heart. I saw it in my heart that Margaret Dennison was going to be the pastor of that church. But I couldn't walk in that day and say that to her. And I couldn't say that amongst the people who were around it. They hadn't heard her preach before. They hadn't seen her administrative skills or giftings. They ain't seen none of that. But I saw it. And that man of God trusted me with his transition. And look at her today. The church is thriving. The church is thriving and it's going to continue to thrive. Well, some people are leaving. People always leave. They left, they left when he was the pastor. They always leave. But they come back. And those that don't come back make room for those whose turn it is to come. Thank you so much, Paula, tonight in Jesus' name. Great blessings on your Zoom in Jesus' name. Thank you, Apostle Green. Pastor OJ. Hello. Happy birthday, Dad. Ah, what are you doing? It's got how, how what time is it there in, in, in Nigeria? It's 2 a.m. in the morning. It's 2 a.m. Where well, you making the sacrifice? They should have put you on first. It's, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's so, I, 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 it's so good to see you. So good to see you. I mean, we, we, we were celebrating you today in church. It's beautiful. People have been calling me all over the place from Lagos, Abuja. Uh, it's Bishop's birthday. I said, call him. I'm listening at my birthday. It's Bishop's birthday. I said, we can't reach you, so I'm calling you. Happy birthday, Dad. We'll celebrate you greatly. We we'll love you. We we'll love you in Nigeria and in Africa so, so much. I mean, uh, uh, Facebook and on Instagram, I see people from everywhere just reaching out to you and wishing you a happy birthday. We just want to let you know that we love you and we can't wait to see you again in Nigeria. We'll celebrate you with that. I want to say something to you. Thank you so much. When I met you, that was a divine move of God. God set it up yeah. that we met in an airport. He knitted our hearts together. Yeah. A few minutes later, mm. we was at the hotel eating dinner, eating, having dinner. We met with each other every day while I was there for another ministry. It was the knitting of God. The Lord spoke and told me, and I want everybody who is on Zoom, everybody who's watching, this is the OJ that I talk about all the time. This is the honest man of God that I talk about, a true, true son of Bishop George Bloomer. But I got hurt wow. this, 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 this uh, year. Something bothered me deeply. Um, the break ground for the school, as the, as the pandemic continued to go on, People lost jobs here, revenue is low. And so what I thought we could do like that, the devil threw monkey wrenches in it. Then there were properties that I saw that we could purchase, but you know, people wouldn't allow us to purchase it from it. There are witches and folks who work uh, witchcraft and fetish that does not want that thing to go forth. And the devil jumped on me and I felt as if I failed you. I'm telling you the truth because we not have to all. This, uh, yeah, but we have to get this job done. I'm, I'm, I'm the kid here in America who knows what it is to sleep on the floor and to eat beans and to go two days without nothing in the house to eat or to go visit someone to hoping that they'll give you something to eat. I understand that, but still not at the level and the measure of poverty that I've seen in Nigeria. Ah, and so I, 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 I was almost embarrassed. I, I, I didn't know what to do. We, we, you know, we must break ground. We got to get this thing done. And so the Lord sent a word to me from the woman who just came off that he's going to 
compensate me for all that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the grasshopper has eaten. And I'm excited today and I'm excited tonight and I'm happy to see you. And I wanted to say that to you, I will not fail you. We're going to build that school and we're gonna to continue to do the job that we set out to do in Jesus name. Amen, thank you, thank you very much, Dad. I just want to also let you know that um, uh, I, I believe strongly that God has blessed me. If God does not do anything for me anymore in my lifetime, he has done more than enough. I also feel the same about you, that you've been a blessing to my life, to my church, to my family, if you don't do any other thing again in my life, you've done more than enough. So I truly, truly appreciate you. I celebrate you. I thank you for your heart and your love towards me. I'm just so fortunate. As a matter of fact, uh, um, um, people call me all the time that, Pastor OJ, people are jealous of you. So why you? Why did Bishop Bruma pick you? I said, well, it's grace. It's grace. And, and, and the good thing, and I know it, it has to do with God because when God chooses you, man cannot unchoose you. Hey. So I know, I know it, it has to do with God. And I'm so fortunate. I'm so grateful for that. I want to truly, truly appreciate you and let you know that I celebrate you very much. And I love you from the depth of my heart. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Amen. Thank you. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor OJ. We want to remind everyone of the giving platforms. Again, Cash App, General Warfare, Zelle, Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me slash GGB Ministries. We're going to call on Judge Brown. All right. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey! Whoa! <laughs> hello, Bishop. How are you, sir? Here's my brother from another mother. How you doing? <laughs> Man, I tell you, I've been sitting here listening to all this, and I am blessed. And uh, just to come on for these few moments to celebrate with you, wishing you a very happy birthday. What a blessing you are to the kingdom. And uh, just reminiscing about all our live TV and in the studio TV and, uh, and going out to some good dinners afterwards. And uh, I think I'm due for another one. I'm ready for you to come visit us. And do some more of that. So you know, I, you, you know, I have to, but I got to tell the story that TCT was the first station that put me on television twenty something years ago. You know that story. What was our guy in uh, in Greensboro that used to uh, run the Larry Larry Patton? Larry Patton. Larry, oh Larry, Larry, yeah, put George Bloomer on TV. And after that, and that is witchcraft and prison. After that, I got a call from uh, TBN to ask me to come on, and it just kept on exploding. So I'm a part of the, happy to be a part of the TCT. Uh, I call it the TCT Nation. Uh -huh. uh, prayer with a purpose. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Bishop, you're certainly a blessing. We always love it, and uh, we love that you just come with such a real and strong message every time, and uh, especially the spiritual warfare series that you've done on our network. I know it's been a blessing to so many of the great viewers, and and uh, we just really appreciate your friendship. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, I don't know if you've heard any of the updated news, but TCT has tripled in size in the last two years, and uh, major market station acquisitions, and uh, we're just... Uh, excited what god is doing but we're looking forward to our greater partnership with you as well so thank you so much god bless yeah and look Dr. forward to seeing you i love him yeah happy happy birthday to you and uh, the best is still yet to come and i'm taking that word today we're gonna soar high we're gonna amen. soar high in jesus amen. name. amen god bless you god bless you thank Woo! you judge brown well, bishop mary good. baxter Amen. Say, <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. I just thank God for you tonight, Bishop. I think so. I was like, wow, because I didn't even realize I was going to have something to say. But I just want to say to you that I am so happy that you're my uh, oldest, some years ago, you're my when oldest you spiritual daughter. You always have something. Yes, to I am. My <laughs> oldest spiritual daughter for Clerk International yeah. Assemblies. Period. Hands down. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> Amen. Oh, and I thank God for you. Glory to God. I thank God for everything that you've ever done for me, everything you've ever imparted in me, and how in the last two years, how you have pushed me to a place. And I thank God for that. You push me out of my comfort zone. And I thank God for that. And I thank God for how years ago, when my world was upside down, you said to me, you must focus. And that has stuck with me. So when distractions come, that word come to me, you must focus on your purpose and where you're going. So I just, I'm almost about to cry, but I thank God for you on tonight. And as you were sitting there and I began to see God healing you, glory to God, and how I saw him even go back to you when you were three years old and I saw God begin to heal you, it blessed me so much. And I know that this is just the beginning of great, great birthday celebrations because you deserve it. And I want you to just open up and embrace it because it is your time to be blessed and celebrated. I love you, Bishop, Thank you on so tonight. Much. You know, Prophet you. Mosley uh, uh, said to me um, maybe four or five months ago, he says, you know, the lady that you have on on Mondays, uh, um, the one that you have doing the prophecy. He said, now let me share something with you. I recognize the anointing on her because that anointing was on me when I was 17 years old before I started my national ministry. Now listen to me very carefully. That's prophet Brian Mosley. In my opinion, he's the apostle of prophecy. That's George Bloomer's opinion. And I'm strong yeah. on that. He said he recognized, remember, when he was 17 years old, his mother, he, he was raised and his mother threw him out. He was raised in a whorehouse and all this different type of thing. He's out at age 17. He's walking in the backyard, he walks into the woods and the Holy Spirit comes upon him and he starts preaching to chickens and, 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 and way, up in the, way up in the hills and so on and so forth like that. And God would give him silhouettes and visions and he said, yeah, I recognize that anointing that was that that was on her. Now, to, for me, that was huge. Thank you. He says, yes. and God placed her and several others like her in your hand because God gave mm. you the connections, the access, and the platform to push them out. And I want you to know that on my birthday, we just birthed that tonight in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, bless you. Thank you, Bishop Baxter. Mm. Dr. Rosia. All right. Move to Apostle Shirley Brown. Good evening, good evening, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. What can I say? I, I have so much to say I can't say. I'm going to echo everything everybody else said. You, you, get been, my, you get my word this morning? I got it. I, I turned over about six and I gave it to my husband. He said, see, I told you he is the one. So... We celebrate you on tonight. He's upstairs watching the game, but we celebrate you on the night. We thank you. I thank God for the past 22 years knowing you. And I thank God for every trial and everything that's went on because it's taught me through what you've said. It's taught me not to give up. It's taught me to hold firm and it's taught me how to do war. Ah, shut up. Mm -hmm. So happy birthday, and I'm glad you allowed us to celebrate you. Happy, happy birthday. Amen. Many, many, now, many, what, many more. And all, and all I say to you is keep on flying. Get up higher. I'm flying. Yeah, the more falls off. All right. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Apostle Brown. Apostle Adrian Taylor. Hello, Bishop. God bless you, sir. Wow. I am, I am truly honored uh, to be uh, on this with you today. Uh, you have become someone that I have truly come to love and respect tremendously. 
And one of the reasons why is because when we met a few years ago and you came to our church, we were in a transitional phase. We had just purchased this massive building that I didn't know how to deal with. We had barely gotten into it. And, um, and when you came, we had just completed the first phase of our renovations. And uh, we had a conference there and I was nervous and all the preachers came because Bruma was coming. We want to hear Bruma. So I was there. And I mean, when I when we walked out into the sanctuary, there was a leak in the roof and the water was coming down literally right in front of the pulpit. And I was so embarrassed and I felt so ashamed, but you never even mentioned it. You probably don't even remember it, but you sat there and they had put a little bucket out there in the middle of the floor. And I felt so embarrassed, like who would do this? In the middle of the conference and Bishop Bloomer is here. One of my heroes is here. And the best we can do is have this, 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 this little leak that just keeps falling. And what, what blessed me about you was that you continued to minister. I mean, you walked down there, preached all around that bucket. You never even said a word about it. It didn't phase you not once. And um, when we got done with everything and we took you back to the airport, you looked at JR and said, give him my cell phone number. And I was blown away because I said, I know there's no way in the world this man uh, is going to <laughs> connect with me with this. But I've never forgotten that. And I appreciate the fact that it's never been a part of our conversation in any kind of way. And the fact that you have brought me into your family and allowed me to be able to share the things that God has graced me to uh, to give to the body of Christ and to be on this platform with so many amazing people tonight. I am just on, uh, number one, at what God has been able to do through your life. And I want you to know that I value you and I appreciate you, sir, and love you tremendously. And I was just uh, totally blown away when your staff reached out to me and said, please be a part of this surprise celebration, this great birthday celebration for Bishop. And, uh, and I honor you you, sir, and I want you to know that I appreciate the fact that you demonstrate so much courage for all of us who have secret things in our lives that we may not want to admit, but you have been so transparent with all of those things that it brings lots of courage to so many of us. And we value, we value you and we appreciate you and thank you, uh, not just because of the great revelation of insight and preaching and wisdom that God gives you but for the man that you are and the love that you bestow. And I want you to know my wife and I, we love you. My son sends his love all the way from Phoenix at uh, Grand Canyon University. Uh, we just thank God for you and we appreciate you, Bishop. And we just pray that God continue to overflow you with even greater favor that the year of the blessing demonstrate how much God's covenant of peace will be upon your life to restore strength and tranquility to you and all things that are missing and lost be put back into your life in abundance that you overflow profusely in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Bishop. We love you. This is a covenant ring that I've given to all of my uh, bishops, apostles, and uh, some of the pastors I've received it, but it's a different color of the pastors. And um holding yours in my hand. Oh my. Yours. Yeah. This is this 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 is yours. Um pulled it off my 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 finger. That's the covenant that I'm in with people. We're not trying to build a large organization. We're not trying to play politics. We're trying to gather the body of Christ together in this particular season, present to the world a clear message of who Jesus is. And when I started passing these rings out, I started getting calls from national uh, um, preachers, won't mention names. And one said to me, he said, um, what's that ring on your finger? And I said, so this, is a, uh, this is an exorcism ring. It doesn't cast out demons, but it just reminds us that we walk in that authority, these signs shall fire. And in, in Greek, it's written into, in the ring. He said, I'd like to have one of those. I said, oh, you don't want one of those. You don't want, he said, why did you say? I said, no, nah, you don't want more. He said, yes. He said, let me tell you something, uh, Bloomer. Here's your problem. You don't know who you are. 
And I'm praying that God keeps it that way. Now understand what he just said. <laughs> because of the level that he's at, I'm thinking that he wouldn't wear my ring. He's wow. locked it in me. He's saying, I, I recognize the anointing that is on your life. And I want one of those to walk with you, to be in covenant with you. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking the same thing you thought when you was in the car. And I said, give him that telephone number. I said that to say this, it happens to all of us. Yeah. It only happens to those of us who are submitted and humble. It mm -hmm. doesn't happen to arrogant people. Because arrogant God. people think they deserve the ring and they better get the telephone number. My Lord. That's not where we are. And because of that, God is drawing to us like-hearted people. So the blessings of the Lord is on you. Need your ring size because I'm holding it in my hand. You'll be wearing my signet in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, sir. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Apostle Taylor. Dr. Rosier. Happy birthday, Bishop Bloomer. I love, admire, respect you in every possible way. I was thinking as I looked tonight, I remember coming to College Park, Georgia, and you were doing a teaching there and anticipating starting a church there in College Park. And I said to Jean after the service, would you ask Bishop to mentor me? And I stood there and waited for Gene to come back with the message. And Gene came back and said, Bishop said he doesn't have time. I wasn't offended. I decided that everywhere that he is this year and the year to come, I'm just going to follow and show up. So I showed up in California. I showed up in every place. I remember. Uh, except for Africa. But I showed up every place that I could show up until finally at vantage point, I got what I'd asked for for the mentoring experience. God answered my prayer. And I was determined, I didn't care what it cost me, what I needed to sow, where I needed to go, that I was going to have that because I knew that you had something I needed in my life. And you have been a powerful, amazing, your life has spoken to me. Sermons have spoken to me. And every single time uh, that I've come to Bethel, you have been my Bethel from opening the door, putting me on the platform with Bernard Jordan and Brian Mosey. I'll never, ever forget that. And then uh, TCT, I was shocked when they called and said, Bishop wants you to come. And just, you have been nothing but a blessing to me, Bishop. You have saved my life on many levels. And even without a phone call, I think last Sunday, a couple of Sundays ago, you taught a message or maybe during the week warfare college, I can't remember, but immediately I said, oh, I've got to soak to this word. This transparency and this counsel was exactly what I needed that day. So I thank God for you being in my life. I thank God for you having this wonderful birthday. And um, the last thing before I present my gift, because my grandmother said you can never go to a birthday party without a gift. So I thank them for inviting me and it's, it's ill-mannered to not have a gift. So I, won't, I believe in etiquette. But what blew my socks off and uh, just blew me away was when I showed up, Overseer King called me and said, you have an assignment in Georgia, Dr. Seymour's church. In the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of me having to provide 24 hour care for my husband, I prayed about it, showed up. And when you gave rings, I will never, ever, ever, the greatest honor, it means the world to me. I just thank God for the favor, for you doing that. I'm eternally grateful. And I want to sow a seed of $580 because of what 580 means. I believe in sowing, I believe in biblical mathematics means a lot to me, symbols, types, so forth. I live by that, I prophesy out of that. and. As I was praying about your birthday and looked at 58, 580 kept appearing. So the significance of 580 is the number 580 highlights the change in financial and monetary terms. Great change. You're already a millionaire, billions, 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 and length of days and long life so that you can enjoy every dime of it and not enjoy it by yourself. But love that means more than money someone that sees your true worth and your true 
value that you get, that your latter days will be greater than your former days. It also means every single, every change in the way that you earn your living will gradually show you the road to success and stability. These changes may involve the beginning of new career or appearances of new opportunities, new opportunities that may appear as a new career. So 580, happy birthday, Bishop Bloomer. You are a marvelous mentor. I appreciate your clarity, your transparency, and what you have done to elevate me as a woman in ministry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. In, in, in the Hebrew, let me say this as you're going. In the Hebrew, uh, mentoring means a man on tour or tormentor. Tormentor. So the scripture said, for it pleases the Lord to bruise those that he loves. I don't mentor from the bruising part, but I mentor from the man on tour. And so when I said, I don't have time for that, that, and I say it a lot, I'm not saying I'm not gonna mentor the person. I'm saying that I'm gonna move. And if that person can follow me, all of the lessons are gonna fall in place. And let me tell you something. Many times you showed up in places and we put you on to do things because that was the whole plan of God wow. to move and follow the cloud. Now, I wanna say this also to you that great, 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 great blessings is coming to you out of great, 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 great torment and disappointment. Mm. 2022 is going to be a year of great, great blessings. God is going to compensate you for all the hell that you've been through. Mm -hmm. Ministry that's coming out of that, nothing will be able to compare to it. All right, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rozier. Bishop Cecil Bridgeford. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bishop. Thank you so much. Um, what can I say? It's a, it's a lot that I could say, um, but I will say this much. You have been a uh, inspiration to me in the ministry. And um, I was just reminiscing. And uh, I remember the first day that I met you. It was back April 19th, 2014 for a resurrection weekend. And I will never forget it. It was just like yesterday. Terry Davis called me and he said, listen, um, I need you to clear your calendar. And I said, OK, I said, what's going on? He said, um, I need you to come and um, preach at Bishop Bloomer. I said, Bishop Bloomer? He's like, yeah, Bishop Bloomer is looking for new voices. And from that time that I got the call to that day, I was so nervous, didn't know what to do. My armor bearer said, Bishop, you all right? You need some water. I said, man, I'm good. I said, I just want to get through this night. And to be able to be on an international platform, it literally changed my life. And I was told, they said, well, listen, you know, if Bishop like you, he'll call you back. I said, oh, okay. And so when I left, I just went on back to ministry, doing ministry. And then I got a call and said, hey, Bishop Bloom wants you to come back. I said, okay. That was the second time. Then the third time. Then the fourth time. All I can say, Bishop, is I appreciate you um, for allowing me to be a part and to share um, your international ministry. And I just thank God that you entrust me numerous of times. You know, I, I drive from Danville to Durham all the time. Um, and I'll never forget, I was just like the other pastor. I drove two and a half, almost three hours to Goldsboro. Um, you did a conference and I asked um, one, one of the men, I said, is there any way I can see Bishop? And your, literal, your words was this, he said, I said, I didn't want to see nobody. I didn't get offended. I didn't get hurt. I said, okay, but I just kept coming and kept coming. And, and people always ask me, why you keep going back to Bishop Bloomer? I said, I go because of the wisdom, because of the inpouring that he pours into me. And I can truly say our ministry has been blessed uh, by you. Times you have come, I've called you, um, even in the midst of my father's sickness, 
Even right now, my father has been admitted to the hospital, but he's doing great. He's doing fine. They are just waiting to do the blood transfusion. And um, we just believe in God, that God is going to do just what he said he would do. And, you know, Bishop, I just thank you. I just can't say it enough. I just thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for your prayers, uh, for your encouraging words. Um, Even the times that you didn't know, times you openly rebuked me. I received it. I took it in. I went back. I restudied. I I rethought some things and it has made me the better person that I am now. And so, Bishop, I love you. Happy birthday. May God continue to bless you. And I know God got something greater in store for you. And that's why I'm going to continue to stay connected because I know my blessing is in my connection. Wow. You know, um, uh, you are a replacement to something. Uh, You know, uh, you had Cain and Abel and uh, uh, Cain rose up and slew Abel. Abel is out of the picture. And then Genesis chapter number four says, and Adam knew Eve again and uh, uh, produced a son named Seth. So God gave them back what what was taken from in our early days of of ministry. I had a preacher who uh, he was my preacher. Um, I'm, I'm more of a teacher than anything else. And he's, he's, he's my preacher. So I can say to him, Hey, let, let go over and, and or drop of the head. He could do it in three minutes, eight minutes, two hours, whatever you need it. Tell him he worked it, blah, 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 blah. Well, he passed away. He's, he, well, he left the fellowship and then he passed away. He was gone. He was in fellowship with me, left the fellowship, got sick, connected in fellowship with me and then passed away. And, um, when I met you, I knew that that was my replacement. That that that, that right. and I've told Overseer King on several occasions. I said, when it come down to preaching and stuff like that, I, if I if I don't care where I'm, I don't care if I'm at manpower. I don't care if I'm. I don't care. Jay, I mean, I will put my boys up to you, House, uh, the girl from uh, what? Uh, 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 the, uh, so I don't start calling names because you know people, you know. But, but Valerie yeah. Morrow. My morrow and my 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 house and the girl from Henderson and the, I, I got when it comes down to the prophecy I got my I got my prophets in in place at our church when it comes down to my apostolic train of thought I got my Shirley's I got my I, I got them I got them and and in the past two years God has really really revealed it uh, 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 to me and when it when 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 it comes down to uh, to the administration of running the clerk organization i got my al morgans my yolanda i got my people <laughs> yes sir and someone drops out promotion doesn't come from the east nor the west nor the south but it comes from god who judge righteously by putting down one don't get put down and raising <laughs> up another thank god when he raises you up and he's raising you up in jesus name i'm sorry for talking that long god bless you <laughs> bless you bishop Thank you, Bishop Ridgeforth. As we're continuing to call those to give their wishes to our great bishop, we ask that you would please keep your comments uh, one to two minutes. Uh, we want to remind everyone ways to sow, cash out, general warfare, Zell, Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com, PayPal, paypal.me slash GGB Ministries, Overseer Malachi. To God be the glory, Bishop. Happy birthday. Birthday blessings to you today from the Malachi's. We're so grateful and God is so good. We just remembering the time that we came in to fellowship with you, Bishop. We just love you so much. I know you don't even know this, but way back in some days and years and years ago, um, we were walking in Victory Conference and the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and say, go and ask him to come and do a conference for you. And I I said, God, what is wrong with you? (laughs) And I began to go and I said, okay. I went and I asked you and you said, absolutely. I said, something's wrong with that man too. (laughs) And I said, from that point, I said, oh my God, what an awesome God. And we thank God for you, Bishop. You've been a blessing for us to our ministry just so long and it's been about 17 years and I'm so grateful. God bless you and may he continue to bless and pour the blessings on you, the blessing of the father. We thank God 
for that tonight in Jesus name. Amen. Well, I want you to know that I love you so, so much. And you know, that's my guy sitting right next to you. And you <laughs> have really, really been a blessing to him also, taking care of him through in these difficult times. And I can see the healing hand of God raise him up when things was getting really, really worse going down. Now, you know you my man, you know that, you know that. Um, but there's something that we have to do uh, that we didn't do. And that was to uh, um, make sure that your consecration is in place. And so Overseer is working on that. And maybe, I think it would be great at the, uh, the apostolic uh, prophetic, uh, in the apostolic prophetic uh, um, reset with the bishop, that would be a great place for us to pour the all and to put your ring on your finger and to. We're uh, ready. And to God We're be ready. ready. Love you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank you, Overseer Malachi. Overseer Bruce Hollingsworth. Happy birthday, Bishop. Happy Woo! birthday, Bishop. Nancy is fancy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bishop. Bishop, we honor you. We celebrate you. Well, before you honor me and celebrate me, before you honor me and celebrate me, we got to tell a story of 20 something years ago. Coming uh, uh, because you are the. Uh, uh, you are, uh, Jean is uh, apostolic general and uh, G is apostolic, uh, they're the adjutants, apostolic general and that. And you have come to us and have brought uh, um, a order that is that is, that has blessed me down through the years. No, no, no if, ands, buts about it. And you, 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 you came to me when I was big bloomer. Yes, sir. And, uh, uh, um, and, and, and Nancy is fancy. Well, thank you. <laughs> Nancy, is, did you see when Prophet Mosley came on tonight? Yes. Yeah. And he had his fur coat on. So, so I went up, put my fur coat on. But I taught Nancy how to negotiate some deals, how to go in there and get a $20,000 coat and walk out of there for $3,000. I taught her that. And, and, and Nancy? <laughs> You are now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got that off my chest. Go ahead on. Bishop, we just honor you today. Um, like you just said, it's been over 20 years since we've been together. And I just knew day one when I met you for the first time that you was the guy. I said, this is our spiritual father, Nancy. Yeah. I, I went back and called her on the phone and told Nancy, I said, listen, you need to get ready. I'm driving all the way back to Atlanta to pick you up, to bring you back to Maker, to meet our spiritual father. Yep. And uh, you've just been a blessing to our life and to our children's life uh, ever since. And we just thank you. I don't know if she ever told you, but we went, I went, to, I don't remember what the hotel was, but I don't know if Nancy ever told you this. So we went to the hotel, you pick me up, carry, carry me, we went to the hotel. This is about a year after we came together. So we had only seen each other maybe twice during this particular time, twice, maybe three times. And I don't know if Nancy told you this or not. And we got to the hotel, uh, you got out of the car, you went in to take care of the business, so something like that. And Nancy turned around and said this to me. She said, I love my husband and he loves you. You are real, you, you, he, he believes in you. You are a real man of God. I thank God for you, but I know that the Lord sent you in our lives for Bruce, he don't have nobody. And I believe, did you ever tell him that, Nancy? <clears throat> it was in the car. <laughs> she, said, she said, she said, now don't tell him I told you this. Uh, 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 you hear me? Uh, you, I said, I hear you. She said, but he really, really loves you. And this, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more that I won't say online, but she was telling the truth. And she was saying he serves people and looks out for people that don't cover and serve him and protect him back. I knew exactly what she was talking about because I saw it when I first met you. But she made sure that you were covered with a spiritual father. So I don't know what you said to her, but this we had only seen each other like two times. And yet this heavy burden was placed there. And 22 years later, here we are. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. We needed a real man of God in our lives because we were serious about this. 
you know, for eight, nine years, we was in the club business and we had a successful club business going and we just decided to just drop it all and get in ministry. And, you know, we know we, we, we wanted to serve, you know, in a ministry. So we was in a ministry where the pastor didn't really appreciate the level of servantship that was on us. You know, we was anointed to serve. Yeah. Wow. And we thank God for you, Bishop. We we just you just don't know how you've made an impact on our lives, our children, our grandchildren. And uh, I never said this before, but you are the only person that can make me do something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, Maurice Rogers sitting there. He said, "I believe that." <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Bishop. We love, love you. you. We yes. honor you. Yes. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something right quick, Bishop. Yes. This happened today. Um, we got a um, we had a new neighbor. He's uh, an Atlanta Falcon, a football player, ex ex football player. And uh, got an ex so we told Atlanta about, Falcon football player staying in your neighborhood. So you just told us where you live. All right, good. Keep on going. Okay. So <laughs> we get to the church. Hey, we went. To, he invited us to go to church. We haven't been uh -huh. to church until we to today. Yes. So we go in his church, and soon we walk in the church, and we got our granddaughter, Crystal Lynn. Crystal Lynn stopped us in the middle of the aisle and said, "Wait a minute." This ain't Bishop Loma. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You know that's 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 my chief cheerleader. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing y'all soon. Yes, sir. Hopefully next week. Thank you so much. All right, Bishop Joni Green. You're, 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 you're muted. Okay, let's see. I'm on now. Well, praise the Lord. Happy the birthday, Lord. my Bishop Daddy. So glad to see you and, and the saints of the Most High God. Amen. All the pastors. It is so good to honor you and celebrate you, man of God. I just love you. You know, I do. When you see me, I do. When you don't see me, I still love you. Amen. I'm going to get through this condition so I can be back in your presence. In the um, just having challenging challenges walking. But um, God told me there's nothing wrong with my voice. So I'm yeah. still using my voice over Zoom and uh, Bible colleges and doing great things. But what I want to say is. That's why I love you for being you. When you put on that fur coat, I started to go get mine when I got ready to speak and say, let me put mine on <laughs> because that's how you are. You are so humble. You are so personable and touchable to be the caliber of man of God that you are. I'll never forget when I first met you, I met you in Fayetteville when Bishop Nelson was about to come under your ministry. You gave me a book that said, order, order, order and yeah. authority abusers. And my life was out of order and I was abused by some authority. And I thank God from that day on, I came up under your ministry somewhere 2001, somewhere like that, been there a long time. But as I was sitting there, I said, when my time get up, I love to do acronyms and I know I don't have a long time. So it's not gonna take me long because I'm a homiletic instructor. So I know the minute, but check this out. <laughs> the G in George is God is with you. The E in George is the spirit of excellence is upon you. The O is great opportunities are before you. The R in George is God has reset you for the release that's coming to you. The G in George is greatness is before you, and you're a great bishop, a great leader, and a great father. And the E is enjoy this year because the best is yet to come, man of God. I love you. I appreciate you. I zelled you already. Amen. And you know, when I got it, you got it. So I'm just in between blessings. But when I do get that low, it don't, it I, it, it wouldn't phase me to sow $10,000 in you when I, I know, get it. I know it it wouldn't phase me. That's why I'm waiting for God to bless me so that I can bless you because you've been a blessing in my life, both spiritually and, and, and just when I tell people, I say, I, I don't just, 
Um, no, Bishop Bloom. I know Bishop Bloom. That's my daddy. Love you, man of God. Love you so much. Thank Father, you. we thank you in the name of Jesus. Let fear and doubt depart from here. Send peace and grace within this place and send healing. Reboot, restore, rejuvenate, reignite, reassign in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, daughter. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Bishop Green. All right. Bishop elect Overseer Al Morgan. Bishop, I don't know what's going on. Sorry about that, Bishop. Bishop, how you doing? God bless you. I love you so much. Um, you're going to be talking in a few minutes. I'm going to, I want to give something to you. So you start talking because I have something for you. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So uh, as you can see, um, Pachalon is out with me. She's got the grandbaby. So we're in two different locations. But um, Bishop, I'm, 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 I have one assignment, but I just wanted to say how much you mean to us. I thank you for believing in us. I thank you for always providing an environment where we were never receiving yesterday's bread. Um, you were always giving us an impartation that was for where we were going. And um, I just thank you so much for that. Um, I find myself sounding more and more like my father um, to where my church, and I can't even believe I'm saying that my church is saying, you sound just like your father. And we had a meeting today, Bishop, after after church, and it was one of those meetings where um, we're gonna stop acting like something go ain't going on is going on meetings. Yes, sir. And um, we're gonna address some things because you have a responsibility. And those are the types of things that I learned from you and from being a part of Bethel Family Worship Center. And, and um, someone said this, Bishop, and, and I, I wanted to say this on your birthday. He said, I thank God for being in a church that doesn't fleece the people. And I said, I learned it from my father. And then I looked up, why do you shear sheep? And it's okay to shear sheep, but the sheep need their wool bishop because it keeps them warm in the winter time. And I thank God for having a spiritual father that knows the right time to shear us because you have to shear the sheep in the summertime so it cools them off, but also so that the parasites have been revealed. You and you have protected us when we didn't know we needed to be protected. You disconnected parasites from us when we thought they were friends. And because of you and your protection, Kirk International Assemblies, Bethel Family Worship Center, and all of your sons and daughters are where we are today. And I just wanted to tell you, thank you. And I love you. And thank you so much for that. It's far beyond all the platforms. I, 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 am, I am hearing, I am hearing myself. I, listen, Whoever want to be jealous and be upset and be angry and stuff like that, then that's your problem. But let me tell you something, uh, Al. You walked away with one of the mantles out of the apostolic closets of the bishop. Period. Period. And your wife too. You don't. You, you, nobody don't even have to wonder or even think about it. 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 When when the disciples the disciples hung out with Jesus to the point that when the disciples was in public, people knew that they were a part of Jesus' group. That's why Peter said, no, I don't know him because everything about him. And I just thank God uh, uh, for you on that note. Now, uh, um, there's one gift that I want to give to you uh, on my birthday. I want to give this to you to be a great blessing to you because um, um, you are my son and I want to bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, I, because guess I what i am as gray i am as gray as you are if not more but guess what listen this pandemic <laughs> please believe i am here i am here bishop i'll go get a case of it for me <laughs> hey, we know we know you buy in bulk <laughs> yes sir but baby i love that salt and pepper i love that salt and pepper but, but, but I, I salt and pepper but it's platinum now we got to get it back to platinum and get the pepper back on the salt. I'll put it back in there. <laughs> Bishop. And, and Bishop, and speaking of gifts, we have a gift for you. So on behalf of myself and my wife, um, we're going to sew. I've already sewn your cash app went off probably before everything started. 
So we wanted to sow a thousand dollars into our spiritual father. Thank you so and, much. Um, and normally this would be where they say that, you know, we want you to lead um, people into an offering, but I don't believe that we're going to raise an offering for our spiritual father. We're going to give people an opportunity to give to the man of God who's always given to us. Um, we, this shouldn't take long. This should be going on and on cash app. Bishop's cash app should be going off. And the leadership, not Bishop, because Bishop would rather you not give anything because he's not trying to pressure anybody. But the leadership of Clerk International Assemblies, the leadership of Bethel has assigned seeds. Um, so for those of us that are members of Bethel Family Worship Center, I'm asking that you sow into the man of God $200 for all of the leaders. Your number is $500 into all of our bishops and apostles. We're asking you to do $1,000. And if you don't want to give, give anyway. Because <laughs> just because, you no, know, Bishop, I really thought about this because um, you prayed for us anyway. You interceded for us anyway. So just like you didn't have a, a choice on your assignment, there's no choice on this assignment. We're sowing into the work that you've already done. So I want to make sure that people understand that you have an opportunity to give. And uh, the floor is open. I apologize that I went um, over my time. But what can I say about a father that most people don't have? What can I say about a pastor that most people don't have the opportunity to get? That no matter where you are, we'll come and get you. We'll protect you. We'll not let people put their mouth and their hands on you. And if you do, he'll send for us and we'll put our hands on them. So again, we're asking, let's uh, blow Bishop's Cash App up and everything is up. Dollar sign, General of Warfare on Cash App. Zell is Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com. PayPal is PayPal, me slash GGB Ministries. Let's be a blessing to the man of God who's been a blessing to us. Bishop, again, thank you so much for this opportunity just to celebrate you. Thank you also. Wow, this is, this is a great, great, uh, great, great blessing. All right. Wow. Bishop, can I, yes. can I say something? Absolutely. Uh, uh, right behind my husband. Happy birthday to you, Bishop. And and Brian Mosley, he, Bishop, uh, Prophet Mosley almost made me run off the road when he said, but you still here. Woo! And it's so many that have gone Vamos. on. Bishop. Listen, Bishop, I love you with all my heart. The first time we went on the road with you, you took me to TBN Studios and it was so much gold in there. And I, I came out of that place and we got back in the van and I said, Bishop, I know who you are, but I see where you're going. And from that day to this one, it has been my goal to make you look as good as that TBN studio. You call me in the midnight hour, I'll get up. I have set up for Jet. I found some Jet magazines the other day. I should have kept them, but I threw them away. But it's just so much that you've exposed us to. And this year, I am decreeing and declaring that everything we touch shall double. And I'm asking God to double our double. So whereas Launch Ministries may be sowing $1,000, I'm about to double it because you're my father. And what we get ready to do in this season, watch your cash out because I'm about to double it. So it's on the way. Happy birthday to you, sir. I love you with all my heart. And let's go wherever we got to go and do what we, whatever we got to do. Thank you, sir. My I'm dad. glad you're here. Woo! That, he, he, he drove me crazy with that. When all is said and done, we are still here. My God, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to the Morgans. Listen, this has been absolutely phenomenal in celebrating our spiritual father, our presiding prelate. This has been a total honor to be able to sit here, Bishop, and just pour our praise out to you verbally and through our giving. So as we continue to give, we're gonna to prepare to call on Tashana, but I want those that have not had a chance to wish Bishop a happy birthday to simply raise your hand via your Zoom button and quickly tell Bishop happy birthday. And then Tashana, you can come on. Um, Hi, Bishop. Hi. 
Happy birthday to you. I see, I, I see the I see the Yelix on. I see the Yelix on. Can you unmute the Yelix and let them say something? <laughs> hey, Pastor Bloomer. How are you doing? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Thank you so Bishop much. Bloomer. Thank you so much. I saw your daddy when I was looking at you. I, was yeah, I know you <laughs> did. <laughs> if Mac was here, he <laughs> and grinded right on down to the ground and bring it right back on up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good to I was see so you. excited to get the invitation. I was like, Derek, we got to get on Zoom. We got this invitation. Happy birthday. Thank you. I just want to thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can. Oh, I just want to thank you for. Um, I'm part of the e community. We're, we're part of the e community um, here and there, but we're definitely going to be um, a part of the e community more often. But thank you for planning, um, watering us with the word because we're in a drought of the word. And it's like when we turn you on, you're speaking truth. And so we just thank you for that. And I just ordered my copy of Witches in the Pews, too. <laughs> oh, but and I learned, I learned about that book from my mom. Oh yeah, that's right. So she, that's right. And I look, uh, Bishop Bloomer, I appreciate you for what you did, uh, what you poured into my parents because it just came all over here into uh, sons, daughters, and everything. I mean, it's just amazing what type of man you are. I, I remember when you, you took nothing and made it out of something. I remember when you took got East End School and you wanted to have a place for people to come worship and uh, you made it happen. I've seen you give people cars. I was selling cars. You would come to me and say, look, I want to bless somebody with a car. You did it. My daddy, my mama, my daddy was sick. You continued to pay him until he passed away. Even had someone bring his chick to the house, came and did communion with him before he passed away. I mean, I appreciate you. I was in France when my mother passed away. You called me and encouraged me. You said, it's going to be all right. Get yourself together. And I got back to the States and you were right there, wanted to make sure my mother was recognized. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. And I never forget it. Thank you, Pastor Bloomer, Bishop you know Bloomer. And you have given me insight. Now, that book, which is uh, in the poor pit, uh, in the pews, look, I'm recognize. you have given me the insight to recognize some game out here. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, when we, I met your mother from a person who called me who said, turn the TV on right now. There's a woman teaching on television and it was public access television. She had a television program. And um, I called her on the phone after the person gave me a number. The next week she came to visit us at our church and stayed. She gave, she had given 17 years of her life to Christian Faith Center and 18 and a half years of her life to our, to our ministry or 15 and a half years of, of her life to our ministry. When we were moving, we was on Corcoran Street and the school came available for us to get. We didn't have the money for it. We didn't have the credit. We just started. And I was the only one with credit. And I remember the Holy Spirit told me to get up from where I am and to come out of the bank. He's going to do it supernaturally. The next Sunday morning, your mother and your father walked into my office with a CCB bank zip bag in it was $50,000, five, five stacks of $10,000. And he gave it to me. He said, this is what we've been saving. 
Wilma said, this is what we've been saving. Max said, all I want you to do, you don't have to pay interest or anything on it. All I want you to do is after we get into the new place, once a month, make a payment so we can make our house payments and stuff of 17 hundred and fifty something dollars do it every month and we paid that thing faithfully over a year's period it was supposed to be five or six years we paid it out in a year when the year was paid out of it your mother and Matt came back to me with another ten thousand dollars and said put this towards the carpet that we were laying inside the church why wouldn't I make sure that he's taken care of after and I'm gonna tell you something else in his final days, mom had gone home to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mac was uh, 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 travailing and so on and so forth like that. When Mac left for about five months after Mac was gone, I made sure that Mac's stuff came to the house where he was at to make sure that that was in order because I knew Mac wanted things to be in order. And when you bless God that way, he blesses you this way. Today, this afternoon, this evening, I continue the covering of the Holy Spirit and the connection of our lives together in the name of Jesus. As long as yes, there's Lord. a past bloomer, there's going to be yellicks as sons and daughters in his life and in his ministry. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, and Jesus. keep your eyes open. The game is out there and it's, 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 it's hard. Oh, yeah. And I'm glad I got your number. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. What a night of ministry. I feel it. In yes, sir, Bishop. I, we're going to hear from the father of Clark and then Tashana immediately uh, follow me. Bishop Dalrymple. Yes. Lord Thank have you. mercy. Yes. I am so happy to be here tonight. Uh, I don't know what to say. We should start. But I thank God for Bishop George Bloomer, uh, a man of faith, a man of intellect, a man that trusts God and believes God like myself. I came to Florida after I retired from New York. Now, how many years? 37. 37. 37 years. And we started the ministry in our house. Yeah. Now we have our own church and doing good. It would be better. But thank God, God has been bless, blessing us and using us. And then I have uh, my daughter here. Wonderful. God has used her. Now I am aged and can't do for the ministry as I should do, but she has taken over and God has blessed the ministry and we are doing good. But I thank God for J Bishop George. What's the other name? <laughs> <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary Bloomer. I thank God for him because he was the one that called the church and he got my wife. And you know, when she, you get her, you can say no to her. She doesn't take no for an answer. No. Um, I was out and I came in and she said to me, um, uh, Bishop Bloom is here. I said, who's he? And she said, come and you see. So therefore that's where the connection was. I don't want to take up the time now because I know this, but God has blessed our ministry. And when my son passed away, my wife passed away, and I, I didn't know where to turn. And I said, I can't just throw things on Bishop Bloomer like that. But I thank God because God gave me the knowledge and the wisdom what to do. And I did it. And then I called my daughter, Denise Stanley. You know, she is a minister uh, of the gospel now. And God is using her mightily in the church. The church is really coming together. We have young people in the church and bringing it together. And I'm sorry I didn't get to uh, celebrate the birthday in our in our in your house, the church, Bethel Worship Center. And but we know that the day will come when you'll have a big celebration. And I thank God for you, Bishop Bloomer. And and may God continue to bless you. Because you know, my wife, she thinks the world about you. Yes. <laughs> yes. But and you know, uh, 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 um um did Denise give you the gift from me? Yes. Yes. Hey! <laughs> this is us. This is us. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Denise was uh, is an attorney. Yes. And uh, is a lawyer. 
bona fide, qualified, extraordinaire. And she's also an excellent, excellent, excellent Bible teacher and preacher. And I thank God for that. Amen. We want to tell you happy birthday, Bishop. We are so glad that we're under your covering. And um, we know that you have been a tremendous blessing to Bethel. And um, a couple of years ago, you celebrated your birthday, however old you were then and however old you are now, but you celebrated at um, Bethel and we thank God. For Several years. Birthday. I would Every celebrate year. my birthday. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. exactly. So we just want to tell you how much we appreciate you and we thank God for you and happy birthday and many more blessed ones. Now, uh, 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 Pastor Delrymple, I know that the, the, the uh, 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 pandemic is on and all that kind of stuff is going on, sir. But I will extend the offer to you as I have extended it to um, to uh, um, uh, Al. Uh, I want it to grow out and be white. I want it all white. You want it all white? Yes. How, how old are you? Ninety-three. I am 93. 93. But then you can, grow it, you can grow it out all white and look like Moses. Moses. <laughs> you notice he has a beard now. And, yeah, and I it. noticed he has a beard now. So, so now, now, uh, 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 Del Rimple is the, is, is, you got a beard now, stuff like that. So is the old lady still chasing you? <laughs> you still think I'm young like them. <laughs> <laughs> still chasing, huh? All yeah. right. <laughs> okay. All right, Denise, protect him. Yes, I am. Bill Rimple, listen, Shirley Caesar said tonight, Shirley Caesar said tonight that um, the Betty White anointing is on us. Yes. So I say this to you at 93, uh, be not weary in well-doing. Uh, you're going to reap automatically because you're not going to faint. But I pray that God will give you more joy and uh, uh, more. I don't want you to leave us now. I want you to stay around a little longer. Okay, well, upon your request to God. <laughs> you, see, you, see, you see, Denise, yeah, and, and we might be laughing, but see, I just broke something. You heard me say, okay. on your request, see, because I know, I know uh, how the spirit world functions. I'm not that astute in the, in the natural, but I know how the spirit world functions. And once things get set in place and so on and so forth like that, and you can't golf and you're not moving around something like that. You start thinking about all those who have gone. My son is gone. My wife's gone. Something like that. And, and I'm telling you, I'm going to ask God to strengthen your knees and give you strength and give you excitement. Uh, let's break. Let's break the record and let's make it to 100 to 101 with the grace of God. Amen. amen. I say amen. You got to preach. You ain't got to come to church. You got to do whatever you want to do. Just live and be happy and, and be alive in Jesus' amen. name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Uh, 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 can you can can you can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, I opened up the show and, and, and I, I want to I close it too. I, I got I got a special gift for you. Uh, uh, Junior, bring my change out of my change thing under the bed there. I got some change I want to give him. Uh, uh, Bishop, um, I want to I got uh, I want to give you a 75 cent. That's what we give you. Because you know, 75 cent. When Jesus was sending at the offering plate, the lady put 75 cent in and he said she gave more than any of them. So my 75 cent is gonna be more than all of them, because that's what the Lord said. <laughs> so I, I thank you for being such a such a great spiritual phenomena in the in the land of the of the successitude of riches of the inheritance of, of the beginnings of the unification church. <laughs> You're so powerful. So thank you so much. Uh, I got to go, and uh, King got to come on and, and say his last word. But I'm going to make sure he bring that 75 cent. You make sure he give it to you, because sometimes he be spending it. Okay. I saw I saw Apostle Frida on the witch. Uh, uh, um, um, yeah, uh, yeah, she didn't want to say nothing, Bishop. Well, let her just wait. Listen to what you know. Be, uh, 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 you know, Apostle Frida, uh, 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 Deacon I'm Gray. I'm right here, Bishop. Lying. Deacon Bishop, Gray. I'm lying. right here. I know. <laughs> Hey, hey, the King King will tell the truth, but that Deacon Gray will lie. That Deacon Gray trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Bishop. Thank you so much for uh, the, uh, the opportunity to be able to just say thank you so much and happy birthday. Thank you for covering me. 
you know, my story is not like everybody else's. I've been under your tutelage for a couple of years, but I thank you that you caught this fruit and you did not let it fall to the ground. And so on behalf of myself and Greater Word of Truth family, we just want to say happy birthday and we love you. Thank you. And so thank much. you so much. Thank you so much. Now, my there, somebody brought a box in here. Somebody brought a a a a, a, a box here in, in here in the house. Uh huh. Somebody brought a box in here. And that is a. And who does it come from? Huh? Me, 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 me. Wow, all of y'all. All the sudden. All right, what size is it? 70. 70. Uh, 70. 70. Oh, 70. Well, see, I, 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 who told you I wanted the 70 inch TV? Nobody, we just know. Just, Nobody told you. We just know. Right? Overseer King, I, what did I ask you for, King? I promise you. Yeah, he told me to go. I was gonna go find a, a, a seventy-five or eighty-inch TV, and I told him I would. I just hadn't had a chance yet, and I never said nothing to them about it. Well, you don't have to do it because they heard in the spirit, and it had to be the Holy Ghost that Victor heard it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it had to be all God. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Uh, 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 huh? So you know it. Yeah, you know. So Justin, you got some of Justin's money in there too? Yes. Yeah, Justin. To no, I'm not trying. To, why do you feel oh, guilty no, all the time? No, I know, no. I know you take care of your papa. Of course. There's no if ands buts about that. I know you take care of your papa. Exactly. Yeah, you buy all kinds of stuff for me and then send me the bill to get rid of you back for it. I know that. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, uh, Jessica. Uh, uh, Jessica's gonna come and sing while they're doing this 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 offering <laughs> in 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 the name of Jesus. And uh, Terry's here, Terry. Terry, oh, that's my granddaughter. Hi, my granddaughter's here tonight. See my birthday, my, my birthday cake and my balloons. Hey. Yeah, you gonna come and wave at everybody? Say, hey, come this way, come, come, come up. I didn't know you was here. If I knew you was here, I'd have stopped the whole program. There she is, all right, all right. Okay, and, 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 and the person blocking the door, that's Terry. <laughs> hey Terry, you, you ain't gonna have a comeback, did you? <laughs> uh, woo! Somebody get a comb so you can comb your hair. Oh, is that a, that's the new style. That's the style. She is so beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for in grandchildren. Everything I need. You are so beautiful. I know your mother doesn't know it, but stuff has been coming to the house that you've been ordering and it's all up and down the steps. You are so beautiful. <laughs> You know how to shop online and use my credit card and make me pay for it. You are so beautiful to me. <laughs> Ooh, it's so good seeing you. I haven't seen you uh, in, in a while. You are so beautiful. Thank you so much. You want to eat some of this cake in a little while? Yeah, we're going to do that in a little while. All right. Back in your hands, people of God. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, we, uh, Bishop, I, my, my heart is so overwhelmed on the on the giving and on the outpouring of love that have been shown today. We have we have so many, so many people on here and want to say happy birthday and they love you so much. But we, we, uh, we you now know, the head of my uh, of the head of my pastors, uh, pastors, yeah. uh, Sister Crenshaw. Yeah, she was on, but then we over talked her and kicked her off. Is she coming yeah, back? She, done. Yeah, she said she didn't want to say anything, but I, I, she she can come on if she like. Okay, all right. I just was I was, I was just I, I saw we we got to talk and I saw Pastor Frida and blah 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 and this one and that one and that and then I see my son up there. He got a he got a, a birthday hat on. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. he, he got a he, he he got a birthday hat on. Uh, uh, um, his name just slipped me just like that. Brian from Wilmington. Brian, Brian. Now, King, King. I'm telling you, I'm. I, I got. Uh, I, I got stuff for your guys. If you, you know, if you, if you, if you want it. 
you, you, you're fine. Okay. We'll, we'll at least put a little bit on your eyelashes. All right. <laughs> okay. Back in your hands. We thank well, you happy so birthday, Bishop. We just wish, um, we just passed on your care team. Want to wish you a happy birthday. Um, I think it was so important um, when Pastor Yolanda said, um, Pastor Yolanda and Al said how it, it hit me so hard when they talked about she shearing the sheep so that the parasites and things can be revealed and how you pray for us even when you probably didn't want to sometimes. And so this is the time for us to give, even though we may not feel the need to give. It is so important that we bless our man of God, Bishop. I know you've saved me through so many different times, me and my family. So there's I told um, Overseer King today, a thank you was never enough. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to let you know how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. Um, I've been with Bethel now. Raina was three years old when we started coming. She's 22. Wow. Miles just turned 18. Wow. He wasn't even born yet. And he just born. turned 18 on the 21st. So. We've been hanging in there and riding this thing till the wheels will fall off. And so thank you so much. We wish you a happy birthday. Um, I'm sowing my seed and I'm asking that everybody please sow into the man of God's life. Who's on the team? Who's on, who's on the pastoral care team? Uh, Bishop, it's so many people right now. I can't even remember all of them. I haven't seen them in two years. Oh, you didn't know their name then. <laughs> That's that name. That, that, amen. Amen. <laughs> Well, I've, I've been blessed by you guys, um, especially Christmas and uh, um, uh, Christmas, two Christmases and Easter and different things like that. Thank you so much. But this has been the greatest birthday celebration that I've had in, in just in ever. And, and let's do something like this again. All right. Back in your hands. Well, but first of all, I want to, before I turn it back over to Bishop, I want to thank everyone behind the scenes that really helped made this possible. Uh, you've been great. You've been great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. These are great group of people. And for all of Bethel that didn't get a chance to, to say happy birthday, amen. You, you can just, you know, just everyone right now, just say happy birthday, Bishop, if they can, uh, you know, just say everyone that say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bishop. 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 Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Bishop. <clears throat> Mother Week said happy, happy birthday, birthday, Bishop. What's that? Oh, that, I see happy the birthday, birthday. card. Up. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, happy uh, birthday, see, Bishop. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. So, hey, man, we thank you, everyone, for your participation, for all your hard work. You were, it was, it's, it's just been a blessing. It's overwhelming. So I thank God for every one of you. Amen. So Bishop is back in your hands. Happy birthday. We love you. Always look good online. If you look in person. Seriously. What you saying? Hello, everybody. Now, I, so, so, so I, I wanted you to sing, you was going to sing a song, so, so but like, I saw you singing last night. You sing that? Yeah, I saw you singing last night. <laughs> singing to do a little dance, make a little love, <laughs> get down tonight. <laughs> then, I saw, then, then I saw you the night before last, I said, one line love and then a kiss. <laughs> kiss. <laughs> so you better have a song tonight. Rock star. <laughs> huh? Rock star. Rock star. <laughs> Rock star. <laughs> This is for all my pastors, all my leaders who's been going through the enemies. Been that, that's a good song. Wow, you took you a while, but that's that that's a, to all the leaders, to all the pastors, 
to all the parents, to issues that we've been going through, uh, battles that we had to fight, feeling like we were fighting it alone. Blessings of the Lord on you. If you see me drinking tonight, this is absolute grape juice out of a line of wines that I'm about to release. Uh, you see it? You see it? You see it? That we entrepreneuring too, okay? Uh, uh, Elder uh, Elder Daniels, Elder Tamilia Daniels, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. George Bloomers, George Bloomers, golden sparkling champagne and dark. Yeah, we, we, we're doing this uh, to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Thanks everybody. Moscato, yes, 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 yes. out with me many that have started out with me but now they've gone astray I'm still I'm still holding on still holding on still holding on father bless Bethel bless Kirk clerk bless all that were a part of this night of fellowship Bless and return back to every person, every seed that they have sown in the name of Jesus. From America to Africa and all the states in the United States of America, everyone who participated in this glorious night, I thank you for it. And I pray that you continue to bless them. Now spread forth your wings like an eagle and mount up. Pay no attention to the naggers or the naysayers. Keep your eyes on Jesus and fly to your appointed altitude. And when you get there, everything that is not assigned to your altitude won't be able to breathe. They'll fall off. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday, man.